Ladies and gentlemen, dance team. The third quarter now beginning. Both sides looking to pull away in the last half of the game. Josh Smith really making a difference here. Yeah, he's played just a smart game overall offensively, looking for and finding the gaps in the defense and also terrific shot selection. Greg, that's exactly what we're talking about when we talk about being efficient as an offensive player. Fully on display there with him. We have a close ball game on our hands as we get set for the second half of basketball. Josh Smith really making a difference here. And the thing I noticed most in that first half was his offense. He was not wasteful with his opportunities and also did a great job of converting with the chances he had. I agree with you, Greg. Judicious shot selection. All of his looks were good looks. We've got Pierce. DeMarcus Cousins out there with Kenneth Fareed. Then there's Chauncey Billups. And it's Jordan in at the two. So that's the lineup for Atlanta. Here's Fareed. And he drops in the layup off the glass. And I'll bet his percentage is pretty high from that range. Billups against Wall. Inside. Horford kicks to Wall. Mar DeRozan on the wing. The kick out to Wall. Clock is at three. Tipped away. The three from Barnes. Rebound Atlanta. Oh, and a fast break for Atlanta. That's tipped. And they're able to recover. Hacked and still knocked it down. Nice composure for Atlanta. They have only one missed free throw. They've had five attempts and made four of them. Timeout called Nashville. Yeah, you know what? I think he thinks he can make a few improvements to how things are going on right now. Yeah, and you know, coaches always are looking for ways to tweak things and change it up a little bit, no matter what the situation is. That's what coaches do. Wall dishes to Smith. Stolen by Fareed. And a wide open look for Jordan. That doesn't go either for Jordan. And here we go. Fast break. Barnes has got it. And he hits it and gets hacked on the play. A three-point possibility if he can convert the free throw. And it's coming easy for them right now. Five baskets in a row in the paint. And I say, hey, if it keeps working, go to it. Stay with it. I mean, until the defense responds and provides more resistance, keep making them pay. That shot becomes effortless for him when the D is so relaxed. They've got to get more intense. Here's Jordan. And down it goes, jamming that one home. Well, that fast break went according to plan. Yeah, nice job there, Greg. Recognizing the opportunity was there to push it, and then excellent execution. Nobody near Barnes. And the three off target. He just has not been able to get into that groove yet, guys, but as a whole, it hasn't affected them too much. And all of a sudden, the shot's now falling in bunches. The complexion of this game has completely changed. Yeah, and that was the only thing that could have brought him back in this game. Everything had to start dropping. And boy, have they gotten on a roll. Wall passes to Horford. And Wall kicks to Smith. Out to DeRozan. No good again that time. And gotta like what they've been doing down low. Oh. <laughs> Seven lead changes now, and we're just in the third quarter. Yeah, each side having a tough time staying in front. Yeah, frustrating for a coach, but it's great to watch as a fan. Horford dishes to Smith. It's DeRozan with the drive. Takes it into the teeth of the D and converts the layup. DeRozan's got nine points. And at the offensive end, he's done about as much as they could have hoped for today. This is the Cousins. Shot from 12. Can't hit. Now Nashville takes it the other way. To the middle. It's tipped. Right side wall. Out of bounds. Atlanta will take possession. 
no clue <laughs> where that pass was going. That is a brutal turnover. Both teams will make substitutions. And the whistle blows. It's going to be on John Wall. That's foul number two for him. 116 left in the third quarter of the game. Intercepted. Here's Franklin. Brooks covering. Passes it to Rogier. Sinks it from just inside the baseline. And it's a three-point Nashville lead. And what's your take, guys, in the hustle steps for Nashville? Boy, they're hounding, harassing effort at the defensive end. Very impressive. And they forced quite a few turnovers as a result. Yeah, but they've also done a great job of playing in space, getting out in transition every opportunity. The pass to Franklin. Down low. Here's Horford. Six to shoot. Ogier. Harris misses. You know, guys, if he does his work early, he knows when he gets in a good position, his size gives him a big edge on the glass. Excellent ball movement there, guys. And that's keyed this run, passing it with purpose. The D hasn't been able to keep up. And Nashville making a change here. John Henson's checked in for Horford. Jones comes in for Harris. And McLemore, he's checked in for Jamal Franklin. And it's Holiday in for Rogier. Ande Takumbo kicks to Brooks. And a great assist by Ande Takumbo as that one goes in. You got to love the big bucket in the paint in this sort of grind it out physical game. Shots continuing to fall as we conclude the third quarter. Both teams putting up points. It's Atlanta. They lead by four. And after a quick break, we're going to come right back with the start of the fourth quarter. All right, we welcome you back to what's been a hard-fought battle. Fourth quarter should be good. On the court for Nashville. Smith is out there with Barnes. Then it's McLemore. And there's Jeremy Tyler. And it's Wall in a, the point guard position. Now here's McLemore. Inside. Smith. That one is good again. He's six for eight from the floor with the basket. Oh, Maestro, he is so good at making those lead passes, like conducting an orchestra. Fareed setting the pick for Phillips. Fareed, no good. Oh, that's terrific defense there. That's how you protect the rim. McLemore with the ball. He's picked up by Jordan. And it's Wall in the corner. Kicks it to Barnes. Smith with a screen on Jordan. That's tipped. And here's Barnes for three. Rebound Atlanta. Cousins has got three rebounds now in this one. Shoots from the elbow. And good. And it takes a nice bounce off the right iron and down. And, and tired legs affect you at the defensive end first. And that's what we're seeing here. You called it, Greg. As much offense as we saw early, we're seeing even more of it here late. Doris Burke has an update for us. Doris? Hey, Kevin, during that last break, I heard Brett Brown as he addressed his team. He told the squad, now is the time when we turn it on and leave them in the rear view mirror. It won't be easy, but guys, I know we can put them away. Let's see if they can deliver, Kevin. Catching up on the changes for Nashville, Horford comes in for Tyler. And it's to Rosen in for Ben McLemore. Atlanta calls timeout. Final quarter of play, about a minute and a half off the clock into it. Screen by Fareed. Phillips kicks to Fareed. A timely screen gave him a step, and he took it all the way. And Atlanta leads by five. It's Wall with the drive. To 
Hard to Rosen on the wing. And Pierce pulls it down. I think he was surprised by how much space he had there and just rushed the shot a little bit. It's three on three on the fast break. Here's Barnes. And the foul on Paul Pierce. That is his first foul of the game. I mean, that's a tough break for the D. I mean, he took the hit and drew the whistle. Yeah, but he was late to get there, Greg, so the referee couldn't give him a free pass on that one. Horford the pass to DeRozan. To the wing right side. Nashville, no good that time either. When he's wide open like that, he'll rarely miss those. Offensive rebound. And again, it's Kenneth Faree. And it's a seven-point Atlanta lead. And a nice spark for their offense here in the second half. Now above 50% for the game. And, you know, guys, that kind of offensive efficiency really keeps a lot of pressure on the opponent, and that's part of why the lead is what it is. The kick out to Billups. Fires the three. And the rebound goes to Nashville. Well, that defense went from poor to no defense at all. And when he's open like that, you don't see him miss those looks very often. It's deflected and stolen by Billups. And the whistle blows. It's going to be on John Wall. That's his third foul of the game. Feeds it to Cousins. Fareed, left side. Back to Cousins. Baseline try. He's going to play his way right onto the bench and out of the game if he continues to shoot it like he has so far in this quarter. All with it. He's picked up by Jordan. Barnes can't get it to go. Been a real difficult game for him offensively, and it's cost him. Here's DeRozan. Buries the long-range jumper. We've seen a noticeable improvement out of him since halftime. He didn't have a whole lot working in the first half. Fareed setting the pick for Billups. And the rejection by Smith. And he gets it back. Fires for three. Kept alive. Here's Fareed. There's 48 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Eyes yet again. Connects! Boy, what a pressure bucket that was. Greg, now that's coming through in the clutch. Outside DeRozan. Count it! And that shot brings them to within just one. Not the biggest fan of that shot, but he had the space to get it off. So, so why not? It's in! That's a clean look they gave him there, fellas, and he drains those. Wall against Phillips. Mar DeRozan on the wing. Pass to Barnes. Five on the clock. He's off from three. And so they choose to intentionally foul. Had to foul, and on that occasion, to stop the clock. That's the enemy in this situation. And you know what, Greg? Who knows? A few misses at the strike. And they're right there within range. You know, late game free throws are a lot different than early game free throws in terms of making. No mistakes there. I think you can close the book on this one, guys. It's done. Timeout called Nashville. They're down by five. Ladies and gentlemen, just two seconds left here in the fourth quarter. What do you think, guys? You, you know what? You can talk all you want, but I just don't see a scenario that's going to get them back in it. Yeah, who knows what he's drawing up in there, maybe working on a play for down the road in another game, but whatever it is, it's too late for this one. That'll be a five-second call. So it's Atlanta with the W. It was a fantastic ball game, and they did a great job making sure it didn't get away from them late. Yeah, and they got pushed down the stretch, but they did what they needed to do and held their ground when it mattered most and got the W. And that's going to do it tonight, folks, for our broadcast. This is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for watching as we present our Jordan Player of the Game.